Hello, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> you changed your... I changed it. <laughs> changed it up a little no bit there. No Mrs. Doubtfire. There you go. So, come on in. It's not showing that... I'm live. Guys. I show Are you live. Okay. I, I guess I've got it. We're the only one in here so far. Hello, everyone. Let's see if I can get this. Changed. There we go. Oh, there's Beth Ann. I can see Beth Ann. Hi, Beth Ann. So, and come Kristen on in. Kristen Fredo Wenzel. LaFrenzo. LaFrenzo. <laughs> Jean Shoot from North Dakota. Hello. Hi, Jean. I was a little bit jealous that you were warmer than us today. She has like 45 degrees today or something. Turn my volumes off. Because it's like all the everything shut off. Well, I turned the volume yeah. off, okay. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, sorry, little sidebar chat there. So, come on in, everybody. Do we have a few people yet? Oh, yeah. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Nancy. Hello. <laughs> Happy New Year's Eve Eve to you, too. Hi, Cindy from Rhode Island. Hi, Colton. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Angie. So, great. Come on in. We've got a few things, and I've got a couple of fun things on top of it. So, let's start off with some of the mailers that I've gotten. And this is so stinking cute. This was a gift card holder. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. You just stick a little gift card in there. So, stinking cute. This is um, out of that new paper that's coming up. The Garden... Dragonfly gar garden. I don't know what it is yet. I'm not used to it yet, not but it's coming. It, huh? <laughs> so that was cute. This was a Christmas card that I got from Joy. I don't know if Joy's on here. I haven't seen her yet. Maybe you can tag her. Um, so thank you, Joy. This is really pretty. It's a little bit of blends done in here with um, some embossing. So way cute, Joy. This one I got from my friend Tara. Um, she lives in Hawaii, the stinker. So I have to show you something. She did a little snow globe with our snow globe dies. Um, this is so cute. I just love it. And she's got the little snowflake, um, sprinkles in here. But she also used our, um, well, we used to have that, um, uh, iridescent, Glimmer paper, that's well, what it's called. It is, yeah. But she moved it's to a, Hawaii. She got it, deployed to Hawaii. and It looks shiny. It does look shiny, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But So she sent me this, and I had to share it with you because Ooh. I don't like snow. So anybody who knows me knows that I'm allergic to it. It makes me break out in hives. And um, <laughs> I don't like it. I, have them all go outside. I think it's pretty on the trees and everything. Don't get me wrong, but I don't want to have to move it or deal with it. But this is the perfect snow globe for me because it's just got shells and it's got a little starfish on there. It says Hawaii on it. I just think it's so cute. So, but look at for you, Bill. Ooh. She sent all sorts of like Hawaiian. I haven't even opened it yet. That's... Don't open it. That's my treat. <laughs> Hey, you gotta share, but there's all sorts of like Hawaiian candies and stuff in here. I don't know. It looks like we'll Maui it. caramels we'll and have stuff. It with our New so Eve party tomorrow night. You will earn this. Yes, right. <laughs> will you put this someplace safe for me? And then France sent me another slim line. Now this is a um donkey that's coming from one of the celebration items oh wow yeah kick up your heels i like that but when you open it up it says time for a new adventure <laughs> 2021 yeah! how cute is that yeah so i had to share those the doom and gloom and the gray they just go here for now okay announcements are actually really quick but there are kind of a few so because it's new year's day no piccadilly parfait this week and i just wanted to let you know um Paper Pumpkin, we're going to go really quick. Those of you who have joined um, me before know what it is. Those of you who haven't, it is a mail subscription order. And if you want to sign up for the Sending Hearts, it's their Valentine set, um, you have until the 10th. 10th, yep. Yep. And um, they also have a little add-on here. So this is going to be eight 
Valentine cards, but then you can add on for $8, you can get 20 little printed boxes, and it looks like it has um, some of the snails that are from one of our new sets I just got today. And oh, really? um, yeah, I didn't tell you that that whole semi that was that whole semi sitting outside yeah that was driveway was for you that jackknife uh, semi uh, was for me he can't drive <laughs> so okay you guys giant urine clearance sale so if there's things like the dyes for this snow globe set um things like that those that are going to be retiring, this is it. You've got until, I think, the 5th of January to order. So we're kind of getting down there. Tomorrow is end of year, end of month. End of quarter. End of quarter. So, um, at, But you do have until the 5th to get out of this. Uh, if there's, Go ahead. Question? Uh, Kathy wants to know if she can order more than one paper pumpkin. You can. Yep. When you order paper pumpkin, you can um, pick how many qu of the quantity that you want. Oh, somebody wants to know who the voice in the back is. I'm Bill. <laughs> this is my husband, Bill. And since I can't demonstrate and, and do the part here, he usually reads for questions and kind of looks out for your questions for me. So there are some so hi, discounts. Nicole Cole. <laughs> so um there are some discounts on some of these you might want to check it out if you need to know how to find my online store all you have to do is go to the little blue box that's up there that says shop now right here on facebook and you'll be able to look through and see that that is going to be things that are discontinuing from the holiday set i do want to point something out to you um and i gotta find it so for my favorite fall set, this one, The Love of Leaves, it is going to be carrying over to the annual catalog, but you won't get that 10% discount. That goes away after this. So you save 10% if you get the dyes and the leaves at the same time right now until the 5th. You'll still be able to get them next year, but you won't get the 10% discount. So I just wanted to kind of let you know because that's part of this year in closeout sale. It's just going to go off. They're still going to carry it. It's just going to go off. Okay, um, the die cutting sh machine. The new little mini die cut and emboss machine. Another question. Okay, another question. Is the poinsettia stamp retiring? It is retiring, and if you want to get it, you have until the 5th to get it. So, yeah, and that's one that... Order while they last. Otherwise, yeah. they're gone. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how it is. And some things have already sold out. So that is going to be going on sale on the 5th. Now, if you have been with me for a little bit, you know that I have a Perks loyalty program. So for every $35 that you spend um, with me, I give you a $25 shopping spree on whatever you want from current catalog merchandise, even clearance merchandise, and I pay the shipping and the tax and have it, have it just shipped right to your house. So it is buy 10, get one free, basically. And then... Plug for my pearls. So let me show you guys something that I don't have that might be kind of interesting. So um, joining my team is an awesome thing. Uh, as I'm growing, I'm getting better at this, I would say. But yeah. <laughs> it's been a learning experience. We have some really neat, wonderful um team members right now so it's a place to be fun and creative and share ideas um, also you get perks you don't have to sell anything you don't have to recruit anyone you can just meet your monthly minimum which is a pretty reasonable amount you get a discount for every time you shop but if you're interested we're going right into celebration which um, is coming up here the fifth yeah. right next so tuesday. you might want to wait until next tuesday if you're thinking about it because they have got a special you get 125 dollars worth of product for 99 dollars and tax that's their special normally but they're going to add in a pack of each of 
not this year's, but next year's designer series paper in all of the colors, except for the in colors, because they haven't released them. So that's five packs. These are $11.50 a pack. So that is kind of nice, because you're looking at, what, 50 some dollars extra right there yeah. added on to that 125 so if you're interested you get a few extra little bonuses that's um, Tuesday and I will put a link in the description area um, what do I got here oh I've got this one other thing I had asked last week in my video and I just kind of wanted to let you know guys know if you go to my YouTube channel and you click subscribe to my YouTube channel um, Last week I talked about how to clean stamp pads and stuff, and some people said they didn't know. I have a whole video on how to clean blocks and scissors and gunk off your cards when you get too much glue on them. It was from October 2nd, 2020. So if you look on there, it's called How to Clean Up Your Stampin' Up Supplies. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Plus, I'd love it if you just clicked to it. Okay, so... One other little thing, I need to say a huge thank you to my really faithful customers out there. I had the opportunity to be involved in, I have a wonderful upline who has done some really awesome things, but this year she awarded, and I was kind of blessed from my team, I want to say thank you. For my customers, I want to say thank you. I had met a goal of, she sends awards, and I got all of these kind of at once, and I'm going to show you what she gives with them, but I got um, an achievement on career to date sales. I had a top recruiter. I had most promotions on the team. I had um, most qualified recruits last year. I had top sales in her little piece of art stampers. That's her group. Mine is the Piccadilly Pearls. And I earned the Demonstrator of the Year category from her. What she does is for each time, let me just show you that. Congratulations, Demonstrator of the Year. She had this engraved on a D block. And I don't know if anybody knows, but I say you can never have enough D blocks. I have so many of them. Here's what she does for us. So even if you join under me, this is what she does. Now, I got this for being demonstrator of the year. This is a locket. This is filled with charms and gemstones to the point where I had two more that came to me. I can't fit them in here. It doesn't even wiggle anymore. So... Um, she gave us this little box. There's a bunch of little goodies in here, too, um, that I'm kind of keeping as my mementos. But I just wanted to let you guys know, I really appreciate you. Um, and that is just mean so meaningful to me. A little bit clump. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I did. Bill had to step cool. out for a call, but he's back. So, we are heading into, and by Stampin' Up! Rules, I cannot open these catalogs for you. But let me just say, they're fabulous. And we got some more news today, and I cannot wait to share it with you, but I can't write it at the moment. So, what is going on if you've never been a part of Stampin' Up! Celebrations? For every $50 that you spend on Stampin' Up!, you get... Um, something out of this little mini catalog and since I can't open them I can just show you the cover there's all kinds of things and actually this touch of ink is the one that we're going to be using tonight I'm not going to be using DSP I'm just going to show you a neat technique and I'm going to do something completely different than I've ever done it's brand new card and this and it's is awesome <laughs> I'm going to be making two cards at once using the same stamp set, the same formula, decorating it different ways. This is one of the things that you can earn for free. It is called a touch of ink. So it has the little hummingbird and it has um, kind of like in a, in a uh, impressionistic style because it's a two-step stamp set. It is photopolymer, which is nice when you're doing two-step stamp sets. So like if you have your hummingbird image here, which I have it out on, on a block, you will have a matching image that you can just put color on top of it. I know that probably doesn't show up well. Let me just show you how you use this. I'm going to show you a couple things that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the layering ovals and the layering squares, one for each card, to do the same type of card 
for each one differently. We're going to be using a lot of blends tonight. Don't let that overwhelm you. And we're going to be starting our card differently. I kind of wanted to show you at the beginning, and then I kind of want it to be a secret. So I'll just put that there. I'll probably need this back out. That's so okay. have that ready for me. Okay, let me get the project box open. And let's start. I've got a couple pieces of scrap paper here. This is just white. I'm going to say white since our whisper white is going out. I do want to let you know that this is my host code through the end of the month or through the 5th. Through the 5th, okay. Yeah, so if you are placing an order under $150, please use that host code. If it's over $150, then you get the host reward. So... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to start off with the little hummingbird. I'm going to use memento ink because we're using blends. I like to use the th the thick um, white cardstock. It's going to be hard not to say whisper white anymore. It's just white. Well, it's going to be basic white, I think, is what they're saying. Mm. So we're going to put him or her down right here. We'll say he's a him. How about that? That works. Okay. Works for me. And then I'm also going to be using the butterfly for the other card to show you that this will work with whatever you have. And this stamp set is amazing. Now I know we've had butterflies and we've had hummingbirds before, but trust me. Instead of using, like I said, you could just dip it into a color and then you could have it colored. Um, with the two set stamping. I'm, I chose to use blends. And there's many different ways that you can do this. So I think what I'm going to do is, is go, uh, I'm going to start with the colors I chose for my uh, butterfly. Now, because of his body and it, there's some detail in there, I went ahead and chose the light um, Razzleberry. Now these are alcohol-based markers and I'm going to use this to just kind of color this area in and then also up here so that it's dark like what um the shading is that Stampin' Up! has done with the image but also you can still kind of see through it well, that's kind of so there's a little bit of color there when you see it up close it might not show up right away on um the camera for you but when I take the photos of these tomorrow it seems to be okay good so now I'm gonna go and which one did I grab here I grabbed the light mango melody I've got the brush tip and I'm just gonna start off and I'm gonna do some of these big areas mm. and I'm not even filling them in but I'm just kind of laying down some color and then I'm gonna come back in here and just fill some more in here okay this is with the light mango melody. And then I'm going to work from the outside again. And I've got the Calypso Coral. This is the dark Calypso Coral. Do not freak out when you see how dark this is because I'm going to actually blend this time. I show you guys how to color all the time. We're going to blend. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to just lay down some heavy dark color. And I'm going to work in sections. And then I'm going to come with the light Calypso Coral. And I'm going to use the bullet end and come in here and go right back over what I was doing and pull that color down. Go right back over and pull it down. That alcohol will start to blend in there. You can kind of see it happening. And so that stark line is starting to go away. I'm doing circular motions and I'm not, if you notice, I'm not going over the black because I want to have um, the, marker have as little time as possible on the black lines so that it doesn't I, I don't know if you guys can hear that squeaking. I hope that's not annoying. When I do this normally, when I'm sitting here working on these, 
this is actually kind of a relaxing process to me. I don't know if you guys have done the blends yet, but now I'm going to go back again because I want that darker here. And I'm going to blend it in a little more. Trying not to spend too much time at the lines. Okay, let's go down here. Don't worry about it being perfect because it's this is kind of an, a, a blending process. You're going to go over it a few times. Any questions or anything so far? Uh, no, they're just talking about the blends lightening up a little bit. And... Yeah, it'll lighten up, and as it as it dries, it takes on a different look to it. Um, I Do you need a certain paper? Um, I like to use the thick white just because I think it absorbs a little bit better. Um, there are some people who will tell you brands. Of course, I use only Stampin' Up! brand, but... Um, I think, I think this, our Whisper White, and it's sold out at the moment. I don't know when they will get the new uh, line in. Now I'm going to go with the dark. I had the light earlier, and I'm going to go with the dark, and I'm going to come right back up over this area, even into where that Calypso Coral is and kind of blend the two of those together. Okay, you can kind of see it starting. Can you see it, Bill? Yes, I can. I didn't know if you could or not. Yes, I can. It's okay. looking and awesome. I'm gonna do just a little bit right back over this yellow because I want that to have I'm just trying to blend them and don't worry if you go out of the lines a little bit because we're gonna fussy cut this out and cool yeah well I can't wait for you to get to the hummingbird mm. well the hummingbird I'm gonna do a different technique this oh, one is more really? of a yeah that's why I wanted to teach both cards at once so that you can see the difference. Okay, get it to the way you like it. And so, can you see that? Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, we'll just go on. I would, I would probably work with it a little bit more just because that's who I am, but... That's who you are? That's who I am, but we're going to put the lids on because these are alcohol markers you definitely want to make sure you hear the snap, snap. otherwise they'll dry out so we're going to come back to this now we're going to go on here to our um and those colors were rich razzleberry um mango melody and calypso coral so now we're going to go on to our hummingbird and i'm going to start off with the lightest blue and i'm using uh light seaside spray and I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to lay down a base layer again Bill's having to get up you guys so he's on call so let me just lay down a base layer here and now on this one I'm just going to do some lines I'm not coloring this whole thing in because I'm going to add other colors because this is a hummingbird and hummingbirds have purples and greens and blues in them. So this was the light. I will be coming back with the dark. So let's go back and let's add, let's see, I'm going to use the purple posy. This is the light purple posy. I'm going to come back and I'm just going to run some in through him. Now see how... I'm going to stand up a minute and pull this up. I don't know if you can see how there's different lines already because I left some white. So I may even go over some things. Couple. Okay. We'll come back to that. 
Then let's go with some green, and I want to start off with the lightest again. So this is light, soft sea foam, and I'm going to add some green in here now, right on top of this, especially in those areas that are kind of white on his wings and tail feathers. So coming back in, I'm going to use a light old olive and I'm going to use the bullet end and right here where Stampin' Up! has these little lines I'm going to go over them you'll see when I hold this up and I'm going to pull some down in here go some right up there there is no right or wrong to how you do this you can use whatever colors you want to I just was going to try to do that now let's get some more color in here because this is very light I did one earlier and I had more green and stuff to it and I don't know if you can see the detail in that he was too light for me I, I changed him up so and it's just about personal preference so I'm going to come in here with this is Highland Heather light Highland Heather dark let's start there so I'm going to start here with the underbelly and I'm going to do some dark right down here, right where that thing is. And I'm going to have that come under here a little bit and come up more that direction. I'm going to come back in with the Highland Heather light. I'm going to move it in here. now. I'm going to go to the bullet end because this is a small area and I'm going to do a little bit of blending just in these corners on his belly and go up there. It takes a little bit of time to get used to the blends, but once you do, they're fun. And I actually, I like our Stampin' Up, our Stampin' Right markers for when I'm doing things where I want different colors on a stamp. I can color different colors on a stamp, but I like these for blending. Now, as you can see, that color is really starting to come together. I need a little bit more dark. Take your time and have fun with them. Don't be scared of it. It's paper. You can always stamp the image again and try again. You know, when I first started, I was doing it. Now I'm going to pull that purple posy in here. I was doing it just while I was watching TV. Well, I grabbed the wrong thing, so it's not the purple posy. There we go. This is because I wanted his belly lighter. Okay, so I think he's vibrant that way, but I think he needs a little bit more vibrance. That's the light purple posy. I'm going to go the light Highland Heather. I want more of this purple kind of swooshed up here and there and maybe just down that back side because I like him. And each one of these that I have done have come out a little different and I've done like six. And so we're going to do this. This is the... Old olive. Okay. So once you get it the way that you like it, then the next step is a Winka Stella, right? Because this stuff is awesome. So you can come in here. And then after you do that, you cut them out. Now, because I didn't want you to have to sit me sit and watch me fussy cut these, I have some already done. So let me just show you. <clears throat> I'll stand up here. I'm hoping that you can see the the sparkle and the shimmer in that Wink of Stella. Do you see it? Maybe you'll see on this one. So I have cut them out. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I love using the blends. The big thing to remember with the blends is they will bleed through, protect your surface. Have something that you're working on that protects your surface. Because as you see as I was doing the butterfly. So then I just use the paper snips 
and trimmed them out okay so this is going to be the focal point don't worry about it being perfect if you get all the little legs cut out or all the little things i'm the way i'm going to show you how to do this and how to conceal this is we're going to be mounting it on white so let me get the next section we'll come back we'll come back so i have the large layered oval, the large um, uh, scalloped square, okay? And I want to grab some more stamps and ink. So I will start in that stamp set. There is, because they're clear mount, you, you don't see, there's this little floral image. And I decided that the hummingbird would look really good with that little floral image. So I'm going to ink this up in just the black and I am going to put my oval landscape here and I'm going to, let's see, I think I want him to kind of go up this side like this. Okay, so that's that. Now, I told you that they had these kind of like watercolored, so it's a two set stamp. So I'm gonna use my Daffodil Delight. Let me move these out of the way. I'll put them on the black, maybe you'll see them good. I'm gonna use my Daffodil Delight, and since I got a little crazy and over inked my Daffodil Delight um, last week, I will say, if you do do that, there's a couple things that you can do. You can use a paper towel and soak some of it up, but I hate wasting product that I pay for. So take a um, plastic spoon and take the back of it very lightly because you don't want to rip this. See how I'm pushing that down? That helps. And then all you have to do, I'm pushing the ink down into the pad. That's why the color changed. And all you have to do is clean this off for your next juice. I have the same spoon sitting here, but I know that this is really inky, so I might just stamp off. Yeah, I want a lighter, actually I kind of push that down. I want a lighter image here, and I'm gonna go right over these flowers that I just inked kind of sideways. Now this is not supposed to match perfect. It's just supposed to look like an impressionistic painting and it's supposed to give you an idea of color for your images. Very artsy fartsy. So there you have it. Okay. That's how you would use the set normally. I just wanted to use blends with it. So see, they don't match perfect. It's just an illusion. So don't get yourself worked up where I can't get my stamps to match up. That's how it was made. And now for the other one, I'm going to use um, two colors. Oh, I'm, the other one. Yeah, yeah. I, did I miss my... I did. I missed a, loading a stamp. If you notice, I try to preload my stamps um, before we go live here. So I'll have to grab another D block. I, I go through so many D blocks just in one craft setting. My crafter math is terrible when I get done crafting. Oh. Ooh, they're telling Nicola that maybe she can go through the EU, not the UK. I hope so. She's been wanting to join up. Um, she actually called the company. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Ireland isn't in the market. Okay, so this is the the leaf image here, and then here's the second image that you can stamp on it. So on the scallop square, I'm going to ink up my leaf image, and this is pear pizzazz, and I'm going to have this just kind of going like that, I think. Off to the side, and then I'm going to Put that up. I did have this one on a D block. Ooh. I've went through like four, four D five D blocks, five D blocks. six. six. This will be six. Yeah, I have a lot of D blocks. No can't. wonder that truck was so big. Today, <laughs> huh? All the D blocks. Bell. 
Okay, so it's that watercolored image again, and it's it doesn't have to line up perfectly. In fact, sometimes I kind of like it that way, but so just go right over it, boom, and off. This is the soft sea foam. So that's how I get that two set look on that oh, image. Wow. You like that? Cool. I like it. D block number six. We still have three C's? No, three those aren't C's. Those are B's, B's, I believe. Yeah, three B blocks left to go, guys. <laughs> And we're going to be using some of those again. So uh -oh. <laughs> don't. Okay, so now let's go to our card base. So I took, I did the scalloped edge on these for a little interest. And then I took on the bases, I went ahead, folded them in half, and then I cut out the coordinating one with this that's just a step bigger, okay? So we're going to start there. I took that out of here and I'm going to actually use them so then the piece that's coming out of the base is actually going to be going on right here right cheer isn't that what Andy Griffith always said right cheer I want to know if you're using all your blocks tonight <laughs> um no. actually no Bill's no, looking at it I have um, a very unsophisticated way of keeping my blocks but it works for me. I have one of those rolling carts and um, inside of it, like, I have other projects. You guys don't understand. I have project boxes. Man, she's got I can't even boxes lift it. Set up I can't even lift place, it. Yeah. yeah, different projects, different boxes. I can't even lift it, you guys. So yeah, no, I've got like three or four of these. This is the E block and three or four I's and you gotta, you gotta um, do what you gotta do, right? That's right. I have to have so many things lined up for demonstrations, so I have to have more than just one set of blocks. Gotta be ready to roll at any moment. At any moment. Listen to him. <laughs> I hope your call was nobody was hurt, right? Nobody was hurt. Okay, that's good. Problems. Bill's got drivers on the road and yeah. with weather. Okay, so now I've got where I cut off of the bases here. I've got these, okay? Let's go ahead and on this, there's the other one, there it is. Right on there. this base, <clears throat> I'm going to make this a thank you card. So, you can tell I went through the emboss and cut machine exactly. well it was I had to have it the other way so I'm going to use the memento ink again and down here at the bottom I'm going to make this a thank you card so this will be my card base so thank you so much pretty easy <clears throat> and then for this one <clears throat> I'm going to make this, I might wait until I see where I'm going to put this on. This is going to go on here. So I'm going to have this one here. So I just have the word hope on this one because this could be anything. It's so cute. All right. Now let's add these little jobby doos. <clears throat> Let's add some dimension to this. Here we go. Okay. Any other comments you can see? Have people gotten completely bored or are they still no. wondering? <laughs> you never know. So, I love this set. You can earn it completely free. That's my favorite thing. Let's get my little... This is where this bowl comes in handy for me. <laughs> Otherwise, these things end up everywhere. everywhere. In my hair, stuck in to your leg, stuck on, on my shoe, up my nose, in my bra. They're everywhere. On so, Izzy. On Izzy. Nah, uh Uh-huh. I take them off of her. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and stick that on there. Isn't that just gorgeous? Come on. That is cute just all on its own. Let's do the same thing. 
Who's thinking they want to win these cards? Yeah, who wants these tonight? Because <clears throat> I'm... going to get my hands all warmed up to draw. <laughs> because I will draw um, two names tonight, and one will get one, and one will get the other. Okay, so I've set my butterfly here down on my um, base, or on my focal point. Let me get this, too, because this just is not... Laying as good as I want it to. I don't know why my nose started running. It's cold. It's cold outside. Let's do a little bit more stamping. Let me start. Well, now we're going to set this aside. I have a five and a quarter. What? Everybody wants them. Everybody does. I have two, and you know how to get them, you guys. Yep. You know, only way I can draw your name is if you share it. If you share my video right now to your wall. I'm trying to gain exposure. So I'm going to bring out my, actually, I think I want a little neater crease. Well, yeah, I do. I want a neater crease. I'm going to. I'm going to pull out the Stampin' Trimmer because it has Ooh, a the, score tool. Scoring tool. So, again, this measurement for this piece of white is um, five and a quarter. I got to look at it. Yeah, five, five and a quarter by six, okay? And I'm going to score both of these. I'm going to score the first one at two. And then four. And then the second one at two and four. So that's very easy. This is actually a super easy um, card to make for those of you who are very much into <clears throat> fun folds, this one's easy. And for those of you who haven't tried the fun folds, this one is a great beginner card to start. So we're going to fold one edge down. And the bottom edge up. Oh. <clears throat> kind of like an accordion. <gasps> Right, Bill, you're so smart. An extension oh, card. Slinky. I'm calling it a framed extension card because this is going to come out. So, now, before I go on, I am going to pull. Just remember. Sharing that? today is for next week's drawing. Right. Oh, good. Yes. Thank you. So, share today for next week's drawing. You had a share for last week for tonight's drawing. So, okay. I'm going to pull out Highland Heather and I'm going to pull out, um, I'm going to pull these two out again. So, I'm going to start with. <clears throat> I know I already have these inked up in these two colors, so I'm going to start here. And let's see, I want it to go open like that, so. Someone said, never heard of that design before? I couldn't find it anywhere, but I kind of accidentally did this. And I had to come up with a name for it, so that's what I came up with because I didn't know what else to call it. <laughs> here. I will use, let's see, I'm going to go into probably right down here again. And ink this up and I'm going to do it again right here. Close enough. You can have those back. Okay. Um, I am gonna need this one though. I need to change. 
the color. Yeah, I need to change the color. Okay. So, and I can't, actually, I probably could have. I want this one to be soft. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do this one up here. So that one I've got in the corner. This one, have you guys totally confused yet? I probably should have just showed you. This one I'm just going to do a light little, this card is a little softer right up at the top. And then I'm going to change the colors. Because on the inside of this one, I'm going to have this one. So I want the Highland Heather. I think I'm going to go that way. Ooh, Isn't it pretty? I like it. And I'm going to go this way. There's no extras in this. It's just all your supplies other than this one stamp set. And maybe, let's see, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this here. So we're going to leave that out a minute. I'm going to go ahead and just glue on this side of the card. like so on this one. Trying to kind of line it up so that it matches um, the top and bottom are lined up. It doesn't matter so much on the fold. Let's do that. Now on this one, the same thing. I'm going to do it on this side. I cannot wait for this stuff to come available for you guys. There are really um, cute, a few cute things. Jean Orwig made a cute card today using some supplies that I gave her. And it gives me an idea of something to demonstrate for you guys. Okay, so now the card's like this. So when you open it up, we need it to have our image in there, our focal point. So I'm going to just take the liquid glue. I prefer liquid glue because it gives me a minute to move things around. I'm going to go get my little focal image and I'm going to put it right down and I know it's going to fit through because you cut it out of there. Because I cut it out of there. So it's perfect little fit, right? Yep. So when I take the card this way, I know that it's in the exact spot that I want it to be. Awesome. Right? Okay. And then with this one, this one, this is the first one that I made. And it, like I said, it was made by mistake. But that's what they say. There's no mistakes in crafting. I made a mistake and I was like, how can I fix this? And this is what I came up with, and I kind of thought it was a cute fix. So we're going to give that a minute to tack. Are they saying anything? Oh, Any yeah, questions? No questions. They're just loving them. Great okay. ideas. So then this one opens this awesome way. Awesome is right. What? Awesome is right. Isn't it fun? It's so mm -hmm. fun. So now we have some terracotta tile, and this was the terracotta tile and purple posy card base that I used and I'm going to take and make a little bitty bow out of this wrap it around get that loop to come up through the middle so cute so if you're new obviously say hi when Bill is oh, in yeah, here they're, they're saying hi and they're, where you're from we Ohio love and been getting Bunch a lot people. of Buckeyes, haven't we? A lot of Buckeye State people, yeah. I hate to say I'm in Iowa and I'm a Hawkeye fan. <laughs> Just saying. Because <laughs> we lose to Buckeyes all the time, but I'm still a Hawkeye fan. Okay. Um, any other ladies out there really like football? I like football, as long as There's it's a, my teams. 
From Dubuque, Iowa. Ooh, Dubuque. Boy, I wonder how much, what did they end up getting? I wonder how many, how many inches of snow they got over there. Yeah, sliding around on those hills. Mm -hmm. Over by the bluffs. Bethlehem, Connecticut. Wow. Colorado. Bunch of people from Colorado. Colorado uh, is where my mom was. California. Born. Got a bunch of family in Colorado. Okay, so I'm just going to put this kind of right here to decorate that. Now with this one, I left it hope because I think this could actually be a really nice card for, um, say, if you have a funeral, believe it or not. I mean, it can be a birthday or whatever, but I think it would be a really nice card for a funeral. That little hummingbird with that purple. But I felt like what's different between this card and this card is when you open up this one, it's it's too it was too bare, so I decided to put this down, and I'm going to do a little stamp in there. Here's another. This is all from the same stamp set. I just was kind of, you know, you got to kind of make things your own, right? It just felt a little too... Blah. Yeah. Blah. That's my term. Blah. So that made me feel better when I opened it up. Now we also, this is something else that's new that's coming out. These things would be really kind of cute. They're kind of bigger than what I wanted and I couldn't quite decide how I wanted them. But there are some really neat purple options that are coming and I'm sure you've seen um, some things from new releases that have been coming up. But all of these products will be available January 5th. Um, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, as well as that special for joining my team. So, what are the comments? Can you tell me what they're oh, saying about a these? A bunch of ladies love football. Yes! West Virginia, That's Green Bay. Green Bay Packers! That's my Steelers. other team. <laughs> Upstate New York where, where, where people are from. That's my other team, and I'm kind of, mm -hmm. I was kind of liking the Green Bay game. I was waking Bill up during the Green Bay game. I'm like, you got to see this. Another touchdown last week. So, okay, so these were my cards, and I'm, I'm calling them framed <laughs> extension cards because it goes past. What I do like about this one is it, it could be kind of set up. If someone got this, it could set up on their desk. It's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. But, and this one, you know, I don't know. But I hope you like it. It was an accident, and sometimes the accidents are where some of the best cards get made. I took something that I would normally do, something like this, and just added a little flip to it. I think it's cute. I'm glad you guys do, too. So, you can order these products for me, all except for this set everything else that I use tonight we currently have in the catalog in our current catalog um, this is a touch of ink this comes available the fifth you can only earn this you earn this by a hundred dollar purchase and that's how you can get this stamp set oh, so you can wow. get this free and you can get all the supplies to make it and all your blends that you want to to blend with these or you could just stamp it the way that it has here if you're a new stamper and don't feel confident on that but look at this look at that little guy isn't he cute especially with that clear wink of Stella on him it's so much fun beautiful uh, colors I do have a question okay what is wink of Stella wink of Stella is like a glitter pen and so you just where it says push here you squeeze it down and it comes down and this this is all you do and it adds that little bit of glitter on that a little and bit of shine little shine yeah just to zip it up a bit i think it's very pretty and i think it's gorgeous on a lot of projects so i just went through another pen i just opened this one actually yesterday so okay um Let's do uh, the last few things. If you're um, shopping on my online store, please use this host code if it is 150 or less. Um, if you would like to earn some products for free, I do um, online um, 
workshops and that includes demonstrations and if you can get a few of your friends together and have a little Facebook party I am willing to do that for you too um, and what else Oh, the drawing, the drawing. Who would like Not to earn drawing. one of these? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, like I said we're going to do... They all like the... Okay, we're going to actually send these out. I'm going to send one to one. So I've got your names from sharing the video last week in my little ticket keeper. And Bill likes to get his little hand. Why don't you draw two at one time, okay? Two at one time. All right. Okay, there's two. Let's see, who are they? France Eldridge. France. You won my framed extension card. So I will get that out to you. Thank you, France. She's always so good at... And then Cynthia Curry Wolfstack. Okay, Cynthia. Cynthia Curry... Ooh. Wattasek? 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say your last name. But if you will message me here on Facebook, I would be glad to get this out to you in the mail. So, you guys, thank you so much every week for allowing me into your home. I do appreciate that. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like me to be your demonstrator, please let me know. I would be more than happy to send you the new catalogs that are going to be coming out with the celebration items that you can earn. And this is one of the sets that you can earn in there. Um, Did you what? say something about the mini machine? Yes, this goes on sale um, the 5th when this catalog starts. So yes, the mini stamp and cut emboss machine goes on sale. So if you like to die cut or even we have um, little embossing folders that fit in here also, it goes on sale. Anything okay. else? No. Okay. Well, um, dim the dimensions for the cards you made, they'll be online. Um, no, I usually just have it right in here. I The dimensions, though, for this, this was an A2 card, so it was an 8.5 by 11, cut in half at 5.5, and, and then I folded it at 4 and a quarter. And the insert on here was 5 and a quarter by 6, scored at 2 and 4. So they're actually really that simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything else was just die cut. Hope um, that answers your question, Deb. Okay, yeah. So, okay, you guys have a great night. Remember, I'm not going to do a live on Friday. They will start up again next week after the new year. You guys have a great new year. And um, come on, 2021. That's Woo! right. And um, head on over to YouTube, please. Like me if you're new here on Facebook. Head on over to YouTube if you were wanting to know how to clean your stamp pads and stuff. Um, that was in October 2nd. Yep. Yes, on YouTube is when I posted that. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.